Sound doctrine. First Timothy 6 verse 3. Hey, Dabada. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to hold some words, Hugaino, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, those are wholesome words, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, you subia, our view of God in Christ. He is proud. Anybody that says he can't preach the message of Christ, he is proud. Knowing nothing but doting about questions and strife of words, whereof commit envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings. Next verse perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds. He is destitute of the truth. Anybody that is not preaching the message of Christ is a destitute. Yeah, he's destitute of the truth. Knowing nothing. Destitute of the truth. Knowing nothing. Supposing that gain is godliness. From such. Anybody who preaches the gospel of give so you can get car, get house, run away. Anybody who defines your spirituality by material things. Anybody whose ministry gauges testimony as the true value of believers. Run from such a person. It's a perversion. He said those people are supposing that gain is godliness. So that is why in such churches it is material testimonies that are amplified. I just joined this church. Oh, two weeks I have bought Jeep. It's outside. I just joined this church. Oh, this is just three months now. I got a contract from Tanzania to Milonia. God is in this place. Praise the Lord. I just joined this church. Oh, I'm just here like one month. I, I've already married a wife. When when the definition of spirituality is tied to materialism in a church, run from that church. Because the leader of that church is destitute of the truth and does not know anything. He doesn't know anything. Dotting about questions. Strife. Envy will be in that church. Competition. I have one Jeep, you have two. I must buy three. The whole church becomes a place of competition. So people will start faking testimonies to be able to buy pastor's attention. They will come and give a testimony that does not exist to show that they themselves are part of it. It's a such place. Run! When you are defined by your car, defined by your wristwatch, be defined by your clothes, if our hope is only in this world, we are of all men most miserable. A man's life does not consist in the abundance of things that he possesses. If any man glory, let him glory in this, that he knows me. Glory to God. Are we preaching gospel here? But. But. Change of subject. But. Godliness. With contentment. Is great gain. Once you can be contented. That you know God in Christ. That is success. Jatobalaya. I say Jatobalaya. I say Jatobalaya. I say, Jatobalaya, eh, Jacob Barakatanaga. I prophesy to you today, you will preach this gospel like never before. Receive boldness, receive utterance, receive platforms. Jatolabaha. But, so it is not gain that is godliness. It is godliness 
with contentment. What is godliness? Our view of God in Christ. Once you are contented that you know God in Christ, car or no car, house or no house, that is what matters. That changes the entire narratives of the gospel. Brothers will no more be under pressure. Pastors will not be under pressure. Yes. Our focus is on Christ. So even if you didn't come with a car to this minister's conference, nobody is aware. Who is interested? If you went and borrowed a car to come and impress us, it's a wrong investment. Because to tell you the truth, we don't even know that you came with a car. Who is, who is interested? Who cares? You hired a suit to wear, you wore for yourself. <laughs> we see only Christ. Henceforth, no, we know, man. We don't, we don't know what you are. <laughs> we don't know what you are wearing. <laughs> you are the only one giving yourself pressure. And the pressure is for nothing. You are in competition with yourself. For we, Kabayada, we have found him. We have found Christ. Our true satisfaction. We have found Christ. Our true success. We have found Christ. We test no more. We have found Christ. We hunger no more. We have found Christ. And in Christ we have found ourselves. I thought somebody would shout glory. And he said, and if Christ is not risen, then your faith is in vain. So finding Christ in his resurrection is our true value. We preach this and we have no apology for anybody. We preach this and we preach it with gusto. Yeah. We have seen God in Christ our God is Christ Jesus is our God outside Jesus there is no God it's a new day glory 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 it's a new day